Hey guys, I'm Jen and a few months ago I posted a YouTube video and I was discussing 10 reasons why you must join the Amazon Delivery Service Partner Program. I got a lot of engagement via the video and also via email. So today I decided to post a video answering the questions and responding to some of the commentary that I received. I'm Jen from She'sJenClark.com and you're in the right place if you're interested in entrepreneurship and would like to engage with and learn from like-minded individuals. If you are new here, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified when I post new videos. So I'm going to jump into some of the questions I received from my last video. Be sure to check it out if you haven't. So the first comment that I saw on the video was someone said, Jen, I don't think you fully have done your research and how difficult it is to run a DS. I don't know if they meant how difficult it is to run a DSP program or how difficult it is to actually start this business. But I'll answer this in twofold. I've been operating as an Amazon DSP for about two years now. So I'm pretty sure I, I know what it takes. I know what's involved. I understand what goes into the day to day. But I want to say that a lot of the difficulties that you'll experience in the Amazon Delivery Service Partner Program are the same difficulties you would probably experience in any business that you try to start, right? So all of these items that I'll, I'll talk through, I'll definitely make the correlation to any other businesses you would try to start, but these are not unique and specific to the Amazon Delivery Service Partner Program. Okay. so. The next comment I received from a commentator, and again, I appreciate all of these comments and all of the engagement. Um, one of the comments was, if you're truly into entrepreneurship, you should not be interested in DSP. I'm sure everyone have different meanings on what it means to be an entrepreneur, what it means to own a business, what it means to participate in this you know, idea of entrepreneurship, right? For me, being an entrepreneur means being able and having the ability to create multiple streams of income and that's the idea right the Amazon delivery service partner program for me was a medium for me to diversify my income and create additional income while also being able to gain true and solid business skills is the program tough absolutely is the expectations high absolutely but do you learn a ton of stuff absolutely and did it make me a better entrepreneur without a doubt so again I fully support this program and to answer that commentator's question, yes, if you're interested in entrepreneurship and you find the delivery service partner program to be appealing, apply and get into it. The next question, well, this wasn't really a question, this was a comment. The commentator said, I've actually heard nothing good about this business. Well, you're probably not really speaking to people who are actually in the delivery service partner program. Right now, I believe Amazon has about 2,500 DSPs across the country. When I started in the program, I believe they had about 800 to 900. So it, it tripled for the most part, right? So if you are going to say that you haven't spoken to anyone or no one has anything good to say about the program, try speaking to people who are actually in the program and hopefully they give you both the good and the bad, right? So speak with people who are actually in the program to truly understand the requirements and what's expected of the program. The next questions, um, this person said, well, there are so many cons. Um, can you speak to some of the cons? Well, good question. There are cons, right? Employees, I know one commentator said, oh, having to hire employees as a con. Um, I'm not sure why that's a con, but um, if I'm thinking the way this commentator was thinking, they're probably trying to ex convey the idea that you have to actually have employees as opposed to having independent contractors. Again, having employees, like meaning employees that you give a W-2 to at the end of the year, isn't truly a con to a normal operating business because most businesses have W-2 employees. And I am of the opinion that you are able to get better quality people to work for you if you're offering them really good benefits, if you're offering them, you know, a 
role where they can grow in health insurance and all of those things that come with actually having a w-2 employee your role is to ensure that you know every day you're getting the job done and not only are you getting the job done but you're doing it at a very high effective efficient manner right and to amazon's expectations so that's a tall order and it's not for everyone but for the right individual if you can come in build a team, coach a team, train a team, and have a level head and not let it, you know, stress you out in doing so. Again, I say apply because it's definitely worth it. The next, um, the next comment was, a commentator mate was, oh, it's horrible to be managing all of these vehicles every day. It's a logistics business, guys. At any given day, you could have 20 to 25 vehicles on the road seven days a week. 361 days out of the year your vehicles are going to have issues is it going to be an expense absolutely but like any other business right you have to ensure that the revenues that your business is generating is able to cover your expenses and still come out with a net income that's worthwhile and i'll tell you the dsp program is worthwhile yes you will incur employee expenses yes you will incur vehicle expenses but you're managing your company in a way that you're generating enough revenue so that you can cover all of these expenses and still have a solid decent net income okay so someone said this is just another franchise model i would say sort of kind of right Amazon would frown upon you calling the Amazon Delivery Service Partner Program a franchise model. I've invested in many other franchises and I can tell you how they differ. In a typical franchise, when you buy a franchise, you really gotta pay a franchise fee. Not only do you pay a franchise fee, oftentimes you're paying either like a royalty or a monthly percentage of all the revenue that you make to that franchisor. So you're paying to be able to use their names, you're paying to be able to use you know, their intelligence, their equipment, their POS systems. So you're paying that royalty fee. In addition to a lump sum of franchise fee that you pay in the beginning, you're also paying a recurring royalty fee. That's not the Amazon Delivery Service Partner Program. The application does say you need to have, I, I believe now it's about 30,000 liquid capital. And most of that you'll spend in your business. You're not taking on the Amazon name. You're not using Amazon employees. You're actually going out and you're hiring your own employees. You're hiring, you're using your own name. In addition, you're building your own corporate culture for the sense. So that's how it differs from a typical franchise. The next question was, how do I join the program? Great question. Go to logistics.amazon.com. I'll leave the link below. Put in your application, right? But it's not just about putting in your application. There's a few steps you want to take before. Review your resume, right? Make sure that your experience, make sure you have the experience of actually managing, building, coaching, and retaining great teams. That's a very important aspect of this program. If you have business experience, make sure that business experience is reflected on your resume. If you've had business experience where a key focus was safety, make sure you're highlighting that and that is coming out either in your resume or in the application because Amazon looks for those items on your resume and in your application. So make sure you do your homework and also try to seek out other delivery service partners and speak to them, understand their experiences, understanding what their day to day is like. And then also do some self analysis and truly understand why you want to be a delivery service partner, right? Make sure you you know why you want to do this and make sure you can actually convey that story. Um, so someone says, I received an email that said, it seems like you have a lot of experience. Do you have a background in logistics? Well, as some of you may know, I did work at Goldman Sachs for many years, but prior to actually joining the Amazon Delivery Service Partner Program, I was running a small trucking company and that was somewhat logistics and doing this and it was a very small business i had two tractor trailers where i would hire drivers and they would deliver loads up and down the northeast area and doing so i did some deliveries for amazon as well which i which is how i learned about the amazon delivery service partner program two years ago and applied so i did have some small logistics program but that does not preclude you from applying because amazon does not just recruit people with logistics background the next question is, 
what are you currently working on and what is your next endeavor? So right now I am looking to, I'm actually looking to do two true franchises like I mentioned earlier. I am opening up a auto body shop and I'm also looking to purchase a laundromat. I hear that's like a really good business to get into now. I could be wrong, but those are the two projects that I'm working on. Um, yeah, so it looks like those were all of the questions. If you guys do have any further questions, I know some of you guys have been emailing me. Definitely feel free to continue doing so. Definitely feel free to engage with this um, post. Let me know what your thoughts. Let me know what other contents you would like to hear from me. I'm not, you know, a YouTube guru, but I do enjoy putting these videos out. Until next time.